not only does law of attraction make you unable to recognize reality, but you would prefer not to recognize reality. So taking on this belief that you manifest everything in your life and around you and there's it's all just in your head it's all just about what you believe not only <clears throat> are you out of touch with reality <clears throat> at that point but you prefer it's actually a preference. You are you prefer to be out of touch with reality because you get a false sense of power and control when you think you control everything like that. That your mind and your beliefs <laughs> are the foundation of reality instead of being a filter, which is what they are, a filter, an interpretation, and like an interpreter, sort of like a um, a screen of a computer. You know, like it'll it'll it, it can give you information, but that it's it, that is not reality. There's, it's not just law of attraction, of course. It's, this is coming through a few different channels, okay? You have, like, Eckhart Tolle, who's teaching round about the same thing. You have, the, like, the power of belief, the biology of belief with Bruce Lipton. And that whole crowd who are teaching that, you know, your beliefs cause your illness. Bashar, the guy channeling Bashar, that whole thing, that teaching the exact same thing. So, you know, law of attraction, you know, Abraham Hicks, Bashar, Bruce Lipton, Joe Dispenza, Eckhart Tolle, the biology of belief, the power of belief, it's all just about what you believe, it's all just in your head. Now here's the tricky thing about all this. There are elements of truth in what they say. There are elements of truth. For example, If you feel good, really good, through positive affirmations and stuff like that, raising your frequency, <laughs> your immune system will be higher. It will be stronger. Your immune system is higher and stronger when you feel good generally, naturally good. I'm not talking about feeling good from smoking weed all the time or drinking alcohol and shooting heroin, like, yeah, you feel really good when you do that stuff, but it doesn't mean it's necessarily good for you. Naturally good. Spiritually good. That does heighten, you know, your immune system is higher when you do that. But when you feel, when you are under constant stress and you feel down, you feel bad, right? Your immune system is going to take a hit from that. It's going to be lower. This is why some people actually get sick when they go through a very stressful time. The, the difference is, is that what people like Abraham Hicks are saying is that the emotion itself is what's the cause. But that's not the truth. The truth is that stress hormones... There are pathogens, actual viruses that wait for those, they're opportunists. 
they wait for the opportunity when those stress hormones start flooding your bloodstream. It is like a signal for them to come out and pro proliferate. They actually feed on that kind of corrosive adrenaline as well. So that not only is that kind of adrenaline very corrosive for your organs, very corrosive on your nervous system, it also awakens and feeds formerly dormant passive pathogens, viruses, that your immune system did have in check before, but with incredible levels of stress, now they're coming out, now they're proliferating, now they're, you know, they're really taking over. So how you feel and your perspective and your perception and your beliefs, you know, d does have an effect on one level. But like I said, the elements of truth that are in this, that, that's in this stuff, lets all the poison pass through unnoticed. It lets all the poison kind of slip under the door and you don't even know it's there. You're being, it's the, it's the most clever form of gaslighting in the world right now. I mean, people are using that word a lot and people can see that kind of gaslighting with, with different things. I mean, but with, with this in particular, this is this has got to be the most sophisticated form of gaslighting in the world, in my opinion. Because it really makes you think that you you know, like this ha this has got to be the truth. I create everything. You know, I've talked to people who believe this stuff, and when I try to talk about heavy metals, heavy metal toxicity like mercury in the brain you know what they said to me I'm like you know this could cause migraines severe migraines cluster headaches all kinds of problems and you know what they said you have to love the metals you have to love them I'm like you, you really you don't have to remove them you don't have to take steps she, she goes no it's just about love there's no such thing as a cause for any illness like that. I've literally heard Abraham Hicks say shit like that. No such thing as a cause for any illness. Okay. Do you see how completely disempowering this kind of thing is? All while convincing you that it's empowering. This is the worst kind of gaslighting. This is the worst kind of deception, man. People that buy into this stuff are really, you know, they really think they got it. They really think they're on it. They really think they're tapping into the secrets of the universe with this shit. And it's really sad, man, because I've seen people that are just so sick, like talking to Bashar, for example. I seen this lady talk to Bashar once. You could tell she was obviously sick. She was very pale very thin, eyes sunken in. She had black rings around her eyes. But she had this smile on her face. Right? That smile. She's like, Bashar, I've been following your advice. I've been trying to just be happy all the time. But it's, it's just not working enough. And you know what bullshitter Bashar says? Well, have you been following your excitement? Are you following your excitement? You got to just keep following your excitement. And she says, yes, I have been doing that. And it has helped in certain ways, but I still have these chronic issues. And he just says, well, you just got to keep remembering to follow your excitement. Follow your excitement, you know. This shit is poison. Poison. People don't want to hear that. It's real bad news for, for their ego and their pleasure and, you know, everything they think they believe with all of this. 
They just want to live in Pleasureville. They just want to live, you know, in La La Land. They don't want to have to take any, any real kind of inventory of their life or take any real steps to maintain their health or to like take responsibility for their actions about things that are actually happening. Things you actually have to learn. Things that actually exist, you know. Viruses, toxins, poisons, heavy metals, you know, that shit is in your liver, man. It's in your brain and what oh oh that that's just such a downer for me to even say that. It's such a downer. You're such a downer. Why would you say that, that we have toxins and poisons in our liver with viruses and bacteria? You're such a downer. Why do you want to bring me down? You are drunk on something. You're high on this delusion. But when you forego that garbage and actually, you know, become a disciple of truth, that's real empowerment right there. You're actually getting in touch with God, like really getting in touch with God then. Before then, it's all just window dressing. Just make it look good. Fake it till you make it. I wear rose-colored glasses all the time. And if I do that enough, that means everything is going to change around me. Somebody told me once, when you wear rose-colored glasses, red flags look just like regular flags. And that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what all this is. When you wear rose-colored glasses, red flags look just like regular flags. You can't see problems, potential issues. You can't even respond to the reality around you, things that may need, you may need to be aware of certain things. You could see, you know, people who really believe in this shit, they could see the worst kind of shit take, going down right in front of their eyes. And they would just be like, oh, well, it's not part of my reality. I choose not to let this affect me because it's not part of my reality. I'm not going to let this bring me down. This is far, far more widespread than you might think. This is far more ingrained in people's thinking than you might think. And it's all over the place. I mean, it's getting into other kinds of ideologies as well, like gender ideology. There's no such thing as male and female. It's all just about what you believe and what you think. Biological realities don't matter. Same thing with the flat earth movement. You know? They can't even see the evidence that's right in front of their face. People, people are being deeply mind controlled, man. Very deeply mind controlled and focused on. You know when Abraham Hicks has those cruises? These big cruises where hundreds of people go and watch Abraham Hicks give talks and... Do you think that there may be other kinds of presences there that are inculcating certain kinds of beliefs in those people's minds, giving them certain kinds of feelings, implanting certain ideas? Do you think it's possible people are feeling, I don't know, presences? that they're interpreting as like, what? The vibration Abraham Hicks is always talking about, that vibration. <laughs> oh, that's what you wanna get in touch with, right? People have no idea what they're playing with. They have no idea what's, what's going on with this shit, man. This off-world presence is expert at, at seeding implanting ideas in people's heads. Certain ways of thinking that can over time become the worldview of its targets. Absolutely. 
They've attempted it on me, but I just, I always, I always flip right back to, you know, a baseline, you could say. But other people, they don't. They just, they're, they're so impressionable. They're so suggestible. For the intervention to affect certain kinds of people's thinking, it's like a clown making balloon animals. That's how easy it is. They don't even have to do that much work. It's like, er, 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 oh, look, a poodle. Er, 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 oh, look, a giraffe. It is that easy. It is that easy for them to affect certain people's thinking who are incredibly impressionable, incredibly susceptible to this. Very suggestible minds. Almost every bizarre cult that you've seen over the last 70 years, 80 years, is because of this presence. I'm convinced of that. All the insane stuff that's happened over the last 70 years, man. You know, there are there are Manson family members that swear up and down they've seen Charles Manson perform miracles. Now, when I take into account all this stuff with with this off-world presence and how much they are fucking with people and trying to, you know, mind control people and, and creating false messiahs and false gurus and false belief systems and twisting up everybody's thinking and getting people totally out of touch with reality, you know, they can, they can do stuff like that. There is, uh, there are human boots on the ground. There are human representatives that are helping this presence. Some of it's within the government. Some of it is extra governmental, meaning it's, it's not, you can't think that it's like the government. There are people within government that know of it and are working for it. Some people are actually working against it. You can't think that they're all in on it. They're not. But there is a lot going on with this presence, man, that is really trying to make people's experience of reality totally unreal. Unreal. They want you in such a la-la land that it would be just, even if reality punched you in the face, you wouldn't notice it. If reality kicked you in the teeth, you wouldn't even notice it. You would just ignore it. You would say it's something else. You would blame yourself, even if it wasn't you, even if there was something else going on. You would blame yourself. They want you to blame yourself. You know, with conventional medicine, it's like, oh, your body's attacking itself. It couldn't be toxins and poisons. It couldn't be pathogens. It couldn't be any of that. No, see, your body is just attacking itself. That's what the conventional people say. But the alternative people are saying basically the same thing, except that you're doing it to yourself spiritually. You're doing it all to yourself spiritually. It's all just in your head, see? You don't see anything wrong with this? You don't see any creepy patterns with all of this? 